So last lecture la DC machines, or the armature winding, or the lap winding, I will design one of them. And I said I did not design wave winding, right? If you want to know how to design wave winding in DC machines, you can refer J P Gupta electrical machines. You can also refer P S P M R, right? So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the classification of DC machine, right? So DC machine la, I mean, our classifications la, you know. So based on the applications, we are going to keep variety of applications. Sorry, sorry, variety of classifications. In DC machine, another classification like uh, C. First one is called permanent magnet DC motors. Anyway, that is not in our syllabus. If you want to read, right? Uh, when you permanent magnet motor, when you tell you know, you can take separate or small Google search me, but you know, like clear that kind of thing. Apart from that, the first one is permanent magnet. Apart from that, we have separately excited DC machine and then self excited DC machine. Now, what is the difference between separate excitation and the self excitation? The first one is. Separate excitation of the arm in DC machine. What we saw, we have two field. One is armature field, another one is field winding. Right, another the DC. Stator level, our DC field winding. That's what we know. Rotor level, we are keeping our armature. So in the DC machine level, we always require two field. One is stator field or DC excitation. Another one is our armature winding field. That is armature flux and field flux. Right. Okay. Now based on the location of our field flux. Our machine has been classified, categorized into two basic classifications. We are uh, two basic types. One is called separate excitation, and another one is called self excitation. Now, separate excitation is one level. Field winding is separate order. Let me explain it clearly. In case of separate excitation, our armature winding, right? I am just drawing. This is our armature winding. With this, we will have armature resistance, right? So armature path is separated from field winding. Field winding can be done. Armature or winding can be done. There is no interconnection. That is called separate excitation. It might be DC motor or DC generator. Similarly, under self excitation, then what do we mean by self excitation? In the separate excitation, I mean, the excitation or the excited field flux will be separately given by an external DC battery. Whereas under self excitation, we are going to keep variety of classifications, right? Under self, first one is called series, second one is called shunt, and the third one is called compound, right? Let us see the difference between these three categories, right? One by one. What do we mean by series? In case of self excitation, armature winding and field winding are interconnected to each other. That is why we are going to talk about armature winding. Only a full length developer or a current to which other than the few amount, few ampere are related to them. I am going to develop the field flux. Are you getting me? In separate excitation, armature flux and the field flux are being created by separate sources. Whereas in self excitation, armature flux will help as to develop the field flux. Clear? So that is called self excitation, right? Now under series, that is under self series in the sense series winding, another field winding. Have you heard of it? Field winding. Under armature winding, both are connected in series, right? So we are in DC. In DC, we are not going to encounter the effect of inductance, right? So we are going to consider only resistance offered by the field and uh, resistance offered by the armature winding. Both are connected in series in case of uh, that is series question. Whereas shunt means you will have armature winding like this. This is my armature winding and this is my correspondent induced EMF in my armature, right? Armature winding and uh, Field winding both are connected in parallel. That is called shunt winding, and this resistance is called shunt resistance. Apart from this, we have one more winding that is called a compound. Under compound, we have two types. One is called short shunt compound, another one is called long shunt compound. Now, what do we mean by short shunt? See, in case of compound, compound no matter what type of winding, we have two type of windings. Series winding or both shunt winding. That is the combination of series winding and shunt winding. If you are going to combine one, this is another compound, right? Our short shunt type of winding is very simple. First, we will have an armature winding. This is my armature winding. Short shunt in the sense, after designing the armature winding, we are going to keep shunt winding and then we are going to keep series winding. Clear? So this is series field resistance. This is shunt field resistance. This is armature winding, right? Again, repeating. Uh, I am repeating once again. In case of compound, it will be the combination of series and the shunt. It means series field resistance, shunt field resistance, right? Series winding, field shunt winding, both are connected together to design the compound machine. In case of short shunt, 
shunt winding will be connected first with our armature winding and then we are connecting the serious shunt that is serious field winding in case of long shunt let me take long shunt long shunt means first design our armature winding and then connect the serious field winding that is serious field and then connect with this we can connect the shunt field like this let me connect shunt field right and then we are going to the output terminal this is called long shunt First, long shunt means shunt will be connected after connecting the serious winding. Short shunt means uh, shunt will be connected before connection, before the connection of serious winding. Clear? So these are the classification of our DC machine. So this is the basic classification. Now for this, how the way we are going to apply KVA? Let us see all the machines one by one and how to analyze them. See, first I take separate excitation. In separate excitation. Excitation is separated from armature winding, I said, right? In case of generator, in separate excitation, in generator, generator we are giving supply to the output, right? That is, in case of generator, first voltage will be generated and then this generated voltage will going to deliver the current to the external terminal, right? So, I know current is going from inside, that is E to V, of armature resistance, the resistance is a passive element. For a passive element, current entering point plus leaving point is minus. It will be a current, let me call it as IA. Now, the KVL will be a minus EG for your generator, EG, E is called EG, and then plus IA RA plus terminal voltage. Clear from this, I can say generator voltage equal to terminal voltage plus drop across the armature winding. Clear. And here, I take the brush drop. Actually, I will be able to put the winding up in the winding up. So, I will be able to put the winding up. So this is represents the brush shunt, right? And I said approximately the brush voltage is considered as two voltage. In your examination, if they are considering the effect of brush drop, then you will end up simply, right? So with this, simply add the brush drop. If they did not consider, if they did not learn any uh, information about brush voltage, then don't consider. Clear? Put the number in armature drop plus brush drop plus terminal total will give you generator voltage. In case of motor, motor and our own, we have to reverse the direction. Reverse the motor, this is my input, right? From the terminal, we are giving the supply for the motor and the correspondent the generated EMF is called the counter EMF or back EMF. In case of motor, in such a case, if you apply KVL, terminal voltage equal to, if you current will be done again, for a, across the armature, current is going like this. Once again, resistor is a passive element. For a motor, current entering point plus across the resistor, leaving point is minus. Now, if you apply KVL, minus VT plus go like this, minus VT plus IA RA plus counter EMF, right? So, minus VT plus IA RA plus counter EMF. I said, if you are considering the effect of brush drop also, then with the armature drop, just consider the brush drop plus VT. But mostly this voltage will be neglected. If it is given, then you have to consider, don't forget, right? So, similarly, I can say, so the total voltage equal to drop across the armature plus generated voltage or induced voltage plus brush drop if it is given. This is the terminal voltage or amount of voltage that has been applied. This is all about separate. Let us come into this self. In self, first category end up with series, right? So, series now once again, generator end up with right? So, series generator end up with armature end up with field end up with series end up with series generator end up with current to hold up with value of the again, resistors are passive element. So, current entering point plus leaving point is minus, entering point plus leaving point is minus. Again, apply KVL minus generator voltage in EG and then entering point plus IA RA, value of the current end up with IA, armature current. So, IA into total resistance, RA plus RSE plus terminal voltage, right? So, from this I can say, generator voltage equal to IA, that is armature drop plus field resistance drop plus terminal voltage. Suppose, if the brush drop given, then you have to consider the brush drop also with the armature resistance drop, clear? Similarly, for a motor, you have to reverse the direction of the current and your polarity across the resistance also getting reversed. Current entering point plus leaving point is minus, current is going like this, right? Again, in such a case, terminal voltage equal to, for a motor, terminal voltage equal to drop across the armature resistance, field resistor, back EMF or counter EMF, if brush drop will be given, then you have to consider the effect of brush drop, clear? So that is for self, uh, sorry, self series. Under self, there is one more called uh, shunt excitation. Shunt in our room, again, in case of shunt, in case of shunt, in case of in case of motor, motor and the dina, armature current will be categorized into two of, right? First, armature will be current will be room, sorry, in case of generator, first I made mistake. In case of generator, generator started delivering the current, right? Current delivery, current will be 
field current will be in the, in the point the current will break out one current will be very low load will in our current will field will go right so in such a case i can say but in that case we apply the armature current is incoming at this junction according to kcl incoming current equal to outgoing current in the junction the incoming current the incoming current is armature current outgoing current is load current plus field current right so this is how we are getting the total current in case of generator similarly what about the generator voltage just apply kvl for this equation no no plus sorry minus eg again i can say minus eg generator and the current will go home so current entering point plus leaving point is minus current going like this so plus i can say sorry plus ia ia and then again i am writing at, at the terminal so that is vt equal to zero from this i can say generator voltage equal to ia ia plus vt if brush drop will be given then consider the effect of brush drop will be similarly for motor motor again our load current equal to ia plus ib right why in case of motor load current is our supply or i can call it as supply current idrilla then now some current and the armature will go some current and the field will go so i can say supply current equal to what armature current plus field current and the terminal voltage equal to drop across the armature and the back gain of if brush drop will be given then you can consider the brush drop similarly we saw one more classification do you remember what is the last one compound right so in case of compound these are two category one is long shunt another one is called is short shunt right adukku epdi case la kevil apply panna see that is not a big task solving the problems in dc machine is very 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 easier than the rest of machines why simply i am in need of case la kevil to solve the entire machine right in case of short shunt what is of short shunt means first we have to design the armature winding and then shunt winding will be nine sana compound machine la rendu field winding varu series field winding shunt field winding short shunt ah da first shunt undu ulla varu right shunt winding undu ulla connect pannu varu with armature winding and then we have to consider the series field winding and then we can go to the terminal voltage clear so ipo nam enna padikala idu kv la apply panunga in case idu generator ah da current ipdi povum appo enna varum generator voltage equal to drop across the armature that is ia ra plus idra pora current enna current that is called load current right so veliya pora current current enna avo generator la ipdi povu armature current veliya povu from this we have load current and field current right appo idra pora drop ipdi no just apply kvl for this entering point plus leaving point is minus appo idra vara drop ipdi la load current il into series field resistance plus terminal voltage vt equal to zero right so sorry so this is my generator voltage simply kvl apply panna according to kvl kvl la nam rendu vela edala one is total generator voltage equal to drop plus load voltage right or you can say simpler loop ki kevel apply panitta ad equal to zero potti ninga reduce panna you get the answer right so that is how we are solving long shunt right sorry short shunt idhe mari idhu idhu motor act achu na enna pannom we have to reverse the direction of the current right appo enna varum supply current this is going to be the supply current appo enna varum armature undu supply undu some current eduthukom field undu some current eduthukom correct ah in such a case if you apply kevel minus vt and then current is going like this so entering point plus drop across the field winding supply current is or load current into series field resistance current is entering like this plus armature current into armature resistance plus counter emf or back emf if brush drop will be given then you have to consider the effect of brush drop equal to zero clear now from this i can say terminal voltage equal to armature drop sorry field winding Uh, this is field resistance drop and then armature drop and then counter emf and then brush drop similarly in case of generator also if brush drop will be given given then you have to consider the effect of brush drop right in the same way you can also analyze the long shunt long shunt plan is na first design the armature winding and then connect the series winding and then connect the long shunt right with the machine that's all this is my long shunt rsh this is my series field winding this is armature resistance this is my generator voltage and this is going to be your terminal voltage in such a case what is the difference in case of generator in long shunt current is going outside from here like this this is my armature current in generator careful observe panunga in case of generator current is going outside appo idu enna varum if you apply that is minus eg plus armature drop that is become ia ra in this case field winding or series field winding only for current yaar varanga armature current na series field winding only avum podu in case of long shunt in short shunt what we saw the current through the series field winding is load current or supply current ana inge enna irukku varanga armature current la inda point varaikku varudha adukapra na current vandu renda divide aagudhu this is going to be a load current this is going to be a field current right 
फ्रॉम विद दिस प्लस वी कैन से के वैल्यू अपने बनेगा ग्राफ दैट इज माय ईजी प्लस आईए और ये प्लस आईए और एससी प्लस योर टर्मिनल वोल्टेज वीटी इफ ब्रश ड्रॉप विल बी गिवन देन हाउ कैन कंसीडर एंड देन इक्वल इट टू जीरो क्लियर सो दैट इज हाउ वी आर फाइंडिंग द के वैल्यू इक्वेशन फॉर लांगशन इन केस ऑफ मॉडल व्हाट शुड वी डू इन केस ऑफ सो मॉडल में अपने बनाओ बिना करंट इक्वली गो दैट इज आईएस फुल एंटर हो दैट करंट विल बी ब्रेक इन टू टू ऑफ आर्मेचर करंट फील्ड करंट अब आर्मेचर करंट अगेन करंट एंटरिंग पॉइंट प्लस लीविंग पॉइंट इज माइनस एंटरिंग पॉइंट प्लस लीविंग पॉइंट इज माइनस इफ यू अप्लाई केवीएल फॉर दिस व्हाट विल यू गेट माइनस ईटी प्लस आईए आरए सॉरी आईए आरएसई प्लस आईए आरए प्लस काउंटर एमएफ plus if brush drop will be given then you have to consider the effect of brush drop equal to zero right so that is how we are applying kcl and the kvl for various type of generator and motor in case of classification of the dc machine just you don't need to memorize this all things right you need to avoid that by by solving the problem just simply apply kvl and kcl and try to understand how to apply kcl and kvl that is enough right so content la clear ah irukadha appadina channel la like panna that is video like mattum podrenga pinadi irundha video paakura ungalku adhe helpful ah irukum mudinja alavukku friends ku friends ellarku undu channel la subscribe sorry share pannunga ena nam ellarkum theriyum again and again i am repeating i am doing this all things for free of cost the one and only motto is this channel has to reach the entire tamil nadu students you all are supposed to prepare for your exams effectively clear whether that's a doubt still there you can ask in the comment section so thanks for watching the videos thank you all